Hello Internet, Doug Redmond here, and what I'm going to be showing you today is how to update your Vault Explorer plugin from the 2013 version of the SDK to the uh, 2014 version of the SDK. Uh, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my Deco application, and I'm I've downloaded it. I've downloaded the 2013 version from my blog, and I'm just going to go through and uh, show you all the steps that's needed to port it over to the uh, uh, to Vault Explorer 2014. Okay, here's my application. Let me just do a couple things right off the bat. Let me, uh, let me update this here. Version 2 now. And let me update all of my references. So I'm still going to want the references from before. This is Boot Framework Web Services. But I'm also going to want some of the new features. So when you have um, a plugin to Vault Explorer, it's going to be passing in a connection object. That connection object lives in Autodesk Data Management Client. Uh, Sorry, lives in this one. Autodesk Data Management Client Framework Vault. I don't need the forms DLLs because at the moment I don't have any UI that I'm taking from the SDK. I'm just going to kind of do a, a very straight port of what was there before. I'm not going to add any new features in this video. I just want to get it working um, with the same feature set but in, in 2014. So I'll click OK on that, load all these uh, extensions, or these references, OK. So that all went well. Now if you've ever downloaded something from uh, my, my source code, you'll notice that the, the key is missing for the signing. I do that deliberately. So for this uh, video, I will just... Uh, I'll just leave things unsigned. Yeah, it wouldn't be very secure if I gave out my key. So, yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, when I'm debugging this thing, I, I like to build to my output folder. It uh, looks like it still has that here from when I posted it. Okay, so the main difference here is that we're not posting to Vault 2013 anymore. Um, we're posting to a 2014 folder. So let's see, the C, Program Data, Autodesk, Vault 2014, Extensions. Now, interestingly enough, when you install Vault, um, it, it comes with some extensions out of the box. So I'll create a new one for Deco. Okay, let's just hit build so that we can see what goes wrong. Uh, let's see, first off, I extension is not recognized. That's because we changed the name. The new name is I Explorer extension. Now, 
and now we get a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I guess we'll go down this one by one. Okay, so there's this utility for converting between byte array and byte array, but byte array has changed. <clears throat> I'm wondering if we even need this. I'm going to comment it out. Okay, another big one is that I no longer get this context. Um, instead, what gets passed in is this connection object, which has my vault or my web service manager already set up. So the step I did before where I like created one and saved it, I don't need to do that anymore. Now what I had done in the past was I had this cache object that I created. So this cache object was just um, for me to remember things so I didn't have to look them up uh, multiple times. So I remember uh, the custom entity definitions. I remember um, the, the property definitions. I believe these are probably just the ones for uh, custom entities, yeah. So I remember all of those property definitions and I put them into two different maps. One is which is mapped by the display name and one by the system name. Um, and it also had a web service manager as part of this cache that I would hold on and you know I would hold on to this reference. Um, in the new way of doing things, uh, I don't recommend holding on to that reference um, because every time we get our command called, we're going to be getting um, that connection object passed in to us. See, so in, in my command I get my event args, I get my inside my context. Uh, let's see, where is this? Context, application, connection. So it's probably best to just grab it from there on every call. That way we don't have to remember that information. So I'm going to go back to my cache and I'm just going to get rid of the manager. So another thing that kind of needs to change here is I did everything with um, uh, this lazy in this initialization. Uh, that I don't think is going to work so well anymore because it really wanted this member. Uh, the it, it it really needed the um, the manager to be stored with it. Now that we're not storing the manager, we can't really do the lazy load anymore or at least we can't do it in in this this manner that uh, that Microsoft has built for us so I think what I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to um, I'm just going to kind of do it by hand okay so I've got my member data set that to null now I'm going to do some public get methods Let's see. Okay, there's a couple ways I could do it. I could either pass in a connection object or a web service manager. Um, uh, I'm going to kind of get in the habit of, of passing around connection objects whenever I can. So let me do the using statement here.
entity cast. So I'm just kind of doing a lazy initialization by hand here. Um, but the main difference is every time we ask for something, we, we now have to uh, pass in that connection object. And my Vault API call is still... Um, still good, I just need to use the connection object instead. So I just need to update my other, th my, uh, the other two uh, functions. I think I'll probably just uh, edit that part out. Okay, my build was successful. Um, Okay, another thing we've got to fix is the vset config. The uh, schema's changed, and the best place to go to see that change is in the SDK documentation. So we will go to so in the getting started, how to customize Vault Explorer it lays out the new configuration for us. So, okay, namespace and class name. So my namespace is deco. My assembly name is deco. And my class name is explorer extension. Get rid of this stuff. And it should like all of that. Just make sure it put it in the right spot. Oh, these Autodesk data management DLLs, you don't need to copy them over. They're already there. So, copy local is false. Okay, let's start up uh, Vault Pro. Hmm. Ah, here we go, we got a nice little error dialog behind the pop-up one, which says that it's not the right version. Not a great place for that dialog. And now we come up. And here's our deco. All right, seems to work okay. Um, I'm not gonna run through uh, anything beyond this point. I know I've, I've ported it over. Um, I'm, I will be adding some features to the 2014 release, but I don't feel that that needs to be part of this video. 
So that is it for today. Thank you for watching.